Hello there and thanks for joining me. I'm Aaron Rutten and in this video I'm going to show you the top 9 acrylic brushes for digital art. That's coming up next. Now I'm going to be starting with my least favorite brushes and working my way up to my most favorite. So starting at number 9 we have Microsoft Fresh Paint. And this is an interesting lightweight application. It's very simple, very straight to the point, and it gives you a really nice impasto effect where the paint is thick and you can kind of build it up. However, the only problem with this application is it's very limited in what it can do. It's a very basic application. So although the impasto simulation is on the higher end, because of all the limitations in this application, that's why I ranked it a bit lower. As you can see, the colors do blend together nicely. You also get that wonderful paper or canvas grain texture, which I like. And if you're using the Wacom Art Pen, which can sense barrel rotation, you can also rotate your brush to angle your brush from being flat like this or maybe more vertical like that. Next up at number eight is Clip Studio Paint Pro. And the brush that we're looking for specifically is Oil Paint Flat Brush. Now this brush is a bit more basic than Microsoft Fresh Paints brushes, which looked a little more organic, but this one definitely does the trick. You can blend colors together nicely. You can also go into the properties and you can add some paper or canvas grain. But unfortunately, this brush does not let you control the impasto or paint depth, and you can't control the rotation of the brush. So although Clip Studio Paints acrylic brush doesn't look quite as realistic as Microsoft Fresh Paints brush, you can do a lot more with Clip Studio Paint, which just makes it a better, more versatile application overall. Coming in at number seven, we have Art Rage. And the brush that we want is in the oil brushes category and it is called Normal Round. Now I know that I've selected oil brushes here in place of acrylic brushes, but that's because oil brushes and acrylic brushes do basically the same thing. As you can see, this brush blends really nicely. It gives you that great acrylic blending effect. And Art Rage also has pretty decent paint impasto. As you can see, I can increase the thickness and I can make that paint look much thicker. I can also control the paper grain setting and I can add different types of paper grain and canvas grain. And if this were a flat brush, I could use the Wacom Art Pen to rotate the barrel and change the angle of the brush. One feature that sets Art Rage apart from many of the other digital painting apps is that you can kind of push and smudge your paint out to the edge and it kind of fades out or dries up, which is really nice. Moving on to number six, we have Leonardo. Leonardo is a fairly simple art application and it has a brush called Flat Brush. This brush feels really nice to paint with and it blends really nicely. You can use lighter pressure to kind of fade out your paint. You have some control over the paper or canvas grain, but you do not have control over the impasto or the thickness of the paint, and you cannot rotate your brush to get expressions. Regardless of that, it's still a nice brush to work with and it has a really nice response to it. So for that reason, I ranked it a bit higher. The fifth brush that we'll look at is found in Krita. This is called Bristles 3 Large Smooth. Again, this brush feels really nice. It has a really nice pressure response and the paint blends in a very nice natural way. You do have some control over the paper or canvas grain, but just like Leonardo, you do not have control over the impasto of the paint or the rotation of the brush. I like the feeling of this brush ever so slightly more than the brush that's found in Leonardo, so that's why I ranked it just a bit higher. Photoshop CC is in the number four spot with the brush that's called Kyle's Real Oil. Now this brush is more on the oily side, but that gives you that wet acrylic look. As you can see, the paint blends together nicely. If you use lighter pressure, you can kind of fade the paint out and make it more transparent, but you'll also get a little bit of that paper grain texture, which you can change to a different texture if you like. Unfortunately, you don't have control over the paint thickness or the impasto, but you do have control over the rotation of the brush dab. This is a great brush if you want that wet acrylic effect. And as an added bonus, there's all of the other stuff that Photoshop can do, which is why I ranked this number four. Moving on to number three, we have Paintstorm Studio, and the brush that we want can be found under Round Brushes, and it's called Round Camel Hair. This brush has a great blending response. You can change the paper or canvas grain. You can also get a little bit of impasto effect, though it's maybe kind of a pseudo impasto effect, which means that you don't really have a whole lot of control over it, and you can rotate your brush using the Wacom Art Pen. This brush has a great feel to it, and Paintstorm Studio is one of the more affordable art applications, which is why I rank this at number three. Acrylic brush number two can be found in Corel Painter 2019. The brush is found under the acrylics category and it's called Captured Bristle 2. Now again, this is more of a basic flat brush, but it does have a really nice pressure response. It builds up a bit more gradually, kind of more like a glazing brush, although you can tweak the opacity to make it more opaque. You also have a lot of control over the paper grain and the canvas grain that you can get with this brush. 
Just as well, you can add impasto very easily to make the paint thicker, and you can change the angle of the light on the impasto itself. Now this particular brush does not support rotation of the brush dab, but if you're using some of the other acrylic brushes, then some of those can. The reason why I rank this one at number two is because it has an excellent feel, and because of all the control you have over the paper grain and the impasto here in Curl Painter. And now this brings us to acrylic brush number one, which can be found in Rebel. It's under the acrylic tool, and it's called Flat. Now I rank this brush number one because it has it all. You can blend colors really nicely. It has a really great pressure response that feels very natural. You can very easily go in and change the paint depth using a slider. You can also change the opacity of the paper or canvas grain very easily. This is a flat brush, and so you can use the Wacom Art Pen to rotate the angle of the dab. And unlike all of the other apps that I tested today, this one supports fluid media simulation, meaning that you can add water or wetness to your paint to make it run if it's more wet or run less if it's more dry. This brush is as close as it gets to feeling like you're painting with real acrylic paint. So there you go, those were my top nine acrylic brushes for digital art. Check out my next video, which is my top nine pencil brushes for digital art. That's coming up next.